Jesus Revolutions. Meanwhile, high school student Greg Laurie runs away from his military class and joins. A girl named Kay who introduces him to the counterculture and drugs. After seeing the dangers of drug use, Craig and Kay find solace at Chuck and Lanny's ministry. However, Kathy's strict parents are not enthusiastic about Greg. The ministry gains notoriety and attracts media attention, being referred to as Jesus Freaks. However, there are internal disagreements that led to one member leaving the group, while another takes over a new ministry branch and becomes a prominent figure in the religious community. The original founders of the movement are remembered as influential leaders in the Jesus Movement. In 1968, a staid yet respected Southern California pastor, Chuck Smith, finds that his church is slowly dying with an inability to connect with the younger, life free generation of hippies. One day, his daughter, Jeanette, gives a ride to a colorful hippie hitchhiker named Lonnie Frisbee, who says he is traveling around and telling people about the ministry of Jesus. Smith, at first suspicious of Frisbee, eventually warms up to him and welcomes other hippies to his house. This includes Lonnie introducing Chuck to a band called Love Song, who proceeds to perform a song in his living room. They join forces and start a successful movement to evangelize hippies and others. Meanwhile, high school student Greg Laurie runs away from his junior reserve officer's training course class and joins a girl named Kay who turns him on to a Johnny's Joplin concert, with Timothy Leary preaching the value of drugs for self-discovery. However, Greg sees that various hippies are dangerously irresponsible. Kathy's sister gets sick from a drug overdose when watching a movie. Kay gets angry at Greg for not caring about how dangerous drugs are and breaks their friendship. At the hippie campus, Kay is listening to Lonnie preach. Greg then comes over and they reconcile, ending with Kay telling him she found a church and he should come visit. Greg and Kay find solace at Smith and Frisbee's ministry. Though Kathy's uptight parents are not enthusiastic about Greg, the ministry explodes in popularity, being seen as a Jesus revolution or Jesus freaks and even sparking a Time magazine cover in 1971. For however, Lonnie eventually leaves for Florida after having disagreements with Chuck Smith. Greg offers to take over a ministry branch in Riverside and eventually marries Kay and becomes a famous pastor himself. Smith and Frisbee are remembered as founders of the widespread Calvary Chapel movement and more generally as leaders in the Jesus movement. Thank us for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel. We will meet again.